someone from outside, a carpetbagger, someone who moved here for ambition, tax reasons, and someone who can't remember one fishing license to the next, one tax form to the next, one biography to the next, where he's from and when he came. Even your record on that most important permitting bill, HB 77, Dan, alone has Republicans and Democrats and independents concerned about tone deafness to Alaskans. I'll just say, you know, we helped bring you up here. I think it's time to live here a while before you prepare to run off to your next job and represent us. Uh, maybe a second question. You, you've presented yourself as an outdoorsman. When did you catch your first legal king in Alaska? I, I never heard when he caught his first fish in Alaska. I do know that your first uh, fishing license here was 2009. Uh, I do believe, Dan, that the question of your residency here uh, is an issue in this campaign, and I believe it's a fair issue. And the mayonnaise quote was simply, you know, down in my cabin, we've got a jar of mayonnaise in the fridge that's been here longer than you've been practicing in Alaska recently. Uh, my question is for Dan Sullivan. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't see an empty chair, but, you know, uh, Dan, uh, my question is where are you? <laughs> you know, uh, you haven't been in Alaska very long, so let me let you in on something. Alaskans expect to have their candidates hash out their beliefs in forums like this. If you're going to represent Alaska, it helps to know Alaska. You know, the fact is, is that you got to know this state if you're going to represent this state. And there's another candidate who's not sitting here who could have learned some more when he took on that fight as our DNR commissioner. You need to know the history. You need to know the state. This is your Senate seat. It's not Karl Rove's Senate seat. It's not the Chamber Senate seat. It's not your brother's Senate seat. I sometimes feel like I'm running against a paint company from Ohio. <laughs> his family company, the source of all of his wealth, uh, the source of his million dollar houses, uh, the source of most of his campaign money is from uh, executives at RPM Corporation, a paint company in Ohio, which took $15 million in stimulus funds, at least according to the government's website. I, I really think the question is, where is the money coming from and why is it being given? I mean, you got to look at the groups that are giving the money. Uh, for example, I mentioned earlier that Carl Rove is a major donor through Crossroads PAC uh, to Mr. Sullivan. And I think it's also atrocious that we have people standing on the stage that were actually part of the surveillance state. The Bush administration initiated much of what we see in the surveillance state today. And in fact, Mr. Sullivan worked for one of the agencies that actually helped bring that to the fore. I think it's important, too, that we not have a senator whose campaign is being funded by the architects of the surveillance state, such as John Negroponte, who's a personal donor to Mr. Sullivan's campaign.